Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, let us see how to install Groovy in Eclipse and then we will run a couple of programs from Eclipse and see how it works. Uh, Groovy nowadays has become quite popular. It has been it's being used in Jenkins, the most popular CI CD tool, as well as in Soapy Y since long time. So I have already created my Groovy workspace in my system. Let's head over and see what is the Eclipse version that I am using here. The Eclipse version is Oxygen 2 really to install the Groovy. For that, we have to go to this URL in here in GitHub Groovy Eclipse Wiki. And you scroll down and you will see the URL for the Eclipse, which we need to put it in. So for my Eclipse, which is running version 4.7 Oxygen, I need to copy this old URL, copy and head over to our Eclipse, help, install new software and paste it here. So you can add it. Groovy and OK, and then it will give us these options. So we have to select the first one. If you go to the documentation here, it says um, install new software, add, and then you can add it, and then main package, expand the main package, and select Eclipse Groovy Development Tools feature. Eclipse Groovy Development feature, and then click next here, and it starts to install. And then next, and I accept the terms and finish. So, in the meantime, while it is installing, let's head over to the notes in here and see if anything relevant is there. So, this page has got the all the information for which you need to install, and for different other releases of your Eclipse. My Eclipse is Oxygen, but if you have a higher version like Photon or even a lower version also, you can actually use the link from here and do the same thing what I have done. So let's go back to Eclipse and see what is the status here. This is taking some time. Okay, so after the installation is complete, it will ask to restart Eclipse. So I do a restart now. Okay, so I have already done with my installation of Groovy now I go ahead and go to file and click new and you should see the Groovy in here Groovy project here so I select Groovy and I give a project name so we are trying to create a Groovy project here Groovy Sorry, Groovy project and just name as Groovy project. And we have to select the I already have Java 8 installed, so it's um, defaulting to there. And use the project folder as a root for sources. I want to keep my uh, all the sources and class files in the same folder, so I select this and do a finish, which will create my Groovy project in here. And then I come here and uh, I can go ahead and create a new package here, which I just name it as source.groovy.scripts and finish. So this is my new package and I can go ahead and start creating Groovy files. So I have to come down and select Groovy type from here and from here you can select class if you want to start working with object oriented groovy or you can select script so first let me create a script here and let's name it as demo script and finish and then you should see the script getting created in here so let me add one line here just define something like def sum equals to 2 plus 3 so in groovy you don't need to write uh, put the and colon in here 
so and I just do a print of this and then once you have done with the script you can right click on this screen in this window here right click and go to run as select groovy script and you should see the console down below here here and you should see this sum here hello sum 5 2 plus 3 5 so this is how you can run it there is another option here if you go to run as you should see the groovy console here which will actually open up the groovy console here if you see it opens a groovy console here so you can and you can do the same thing from here in fact actually if you want to run if you want to try out first instead of getting it from eclipse you can directly open the console and you can type uh, in from here and you can also run it from here run and it should print out the uh, console output under this id so if you for example i want to say hello world world and save it save and run it and you should see it here down below okay i'll make it as print ln save it and do a run it should come in the next line so if I close this, you should see that it's getting updated down below in the script as well. So next we'll see how to add a class. Right click on the package, new and should go to groovy type class and just put some name here, demo class groovy and next static void main, I need this and it's a public class and I do a finish it should generate me this class file in here and I'll add same line here print ln hello groovy class and I save it and I run as Java application here so I don't have the script option because um, now I have defined the object oriented method of writing writing Groovy and uh, it's, there's a class in there. I select the Java application and I should see the output down below in the console window in here. So now if you are in a class file, you cannot write something like this outside the class. Everything has to be object oriented way of writing. Hello. So it will give me this cross and red marks here indicating me that it's not allowed in here uh, if you have defined a class so that's about installing the groovy in eclipse and running a script and running a class file in eclipse for the groovy programming language so that's all in this video thank you so much